Hi everybody, my name is Alicia and I'm a guest reviewer for Wig Studio One. They sent me this piece so that I could review it for all of us today. This is Adalia and it's by John Renault and this is in the color 39F38. I'm going to leave purchase information to Adalia here um, down in my description. And if you click on it, that'll take you to the Wig Studio One website so that you can look at Adalia and the 31 different colors that this piece comes in. Also, you guys, Wig Studio One has a private support Facebook group. It's called Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. There will also be a link down in my description that'll take you there. And if you have any other questions or need help, you can always reach out for customer care at support at wigstudio1.com. Okay, you guys, when I woke up this morning, I was so happy because I remembered that I had this beautiful new hair mail that I was going to get to show y'all today. You know, I, I love wearing those longer pieces that I've been showing you guys lately, but in truth, this is more my style, you know, I like a, of course my earring came off. I like a shorter style, and this is just right up my alley. So I'm going to back up just a little bit with one earring off and show you guys a Dahlia on all sides. This is a beautiful gray color. This is my first time to see this, and I am in love. I like this because, you know, it has a little depth to it. I don't know. I just think this is just a gorgeous gray color. I'm going to read to you what the color description says. It's kind of a long one. Let me do it real fast. Roasted chestnut. Light natural ash brown with 75% gray front. Graduating to medium brown with a 35% gray nape. Let me turn around again. I will go outside and take a little short video of what this color looks like outside. I just love the darker and the lighter. It's a beautiful gray color. I told you this piece comes in 31 colors. These are regular synthetic fibers. These are not heat friendly. Um, I'm, I'm going to show you the lace front and then I'm going to tell you one thing about Adalia. You know, this is John Renault's smart lace. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of these John Renault pieces with this smart lace. It doesn't come out very far. The hairline, that just looks like our hair. You know, these are just really well done. The lace goes from here to here. It doesn't extend down into the ear tab, so it's almost temple to temple right here. She has probably about an inch and a half of lace right here, and I'll show you the inside of the cap in just a second. And then the rest of this is closed cap. So there is a little bit of that permatease right there. What I did, you guys, I just took my little rat tail comb and I just lifted that up off the cap right there because it's not too bad. So if you'll just lift those fibers up off of the cap, that would help disguise any of any of that little permatease that's up there on the top. These fibers are so soft and wispy. Can you just see? They're just soft and wispy. So... I'm going to pull this earring off too. So the only thing I want to tell you guys about Adalia is this cap is a little snug on me. I have a 22 inch circumference and you know that's the measurement around the top of our head here. I have a 22 inch circumference and I'm 8 inches from the top of my forehead to the bottom of my chin. This cap's a little tight on me. I can wear it. I can wear it. But I don't generally like my caps snug. So I just want to make sure to tell you that if you're petite to petite average, I think this cap would fit you perfectly. I just don't know if I would go up much over average um, with this cap right here. 
I'll list all of my measurements down in my description and you can check them against yours. Let me show you the coverage here. I've got good coverage. I do wish that the ear tab would come down just a little bit more. Let me see if I can show you this. So here's the bottom of the ear tab. I wish it would come down just a little bit more, but it's still giving me good coverage. That's just if I'm being picky. <laughs> That's why I say this is probably better suited to petite, petite average. This is pretty. Okay, her bang, eight inches. That's right. Her crown is 5.75 inches. Her sides are 6.75 inches. She has a nape of 1.75 right up my alley. I love a short nape. And she weighs 2.7 ounces. Now, there is some permatease in this cat. I can feel it on the sides, on the top, in the back, up at the crown. You know, it's closed cap at the top, so they put some permatease in there just to give this style a little lift, which I think is a Adorable. <laughs> you could have fun trying to style this piece. So just know that there is a moderate amount of permities in this style. I had a little um, headband right here. I'm going to put this little headband on. We'll just pull it up like this. She's got that long fringe in the front. So you could pull it all the way up off your face and pull down some little hairs here in the front. Or you could just leave your bang down in the front. Oh, that's cute. Get you some volume up here on the top, some lift. And then I've got a little baby claw clip right here. Do you see that if you put a little product in there, like maybe some of this John Renault Peace Out Cream? I'll leave a link down in my description to get this Peace Out Cream. You just put a little tiny bit on your fingers and just kind of piece this out up here and it'll hold the style for you. Like if you want some lift in the back and you want it to stay, piece it out just a little bit. I think that bang is so flattering and it's thin, you know, it's not real thick. It's not a heavy density at all. This is a light density. So we could pull her up off of our face, put you a little baby claw clip in there. I love this. This is very similar to lots of other styles out there. We know like John Renault Ignite. I even thought of my Ellen Villa Aletta because the nape is short, the sides are long. You'd want to put a little more effort into it, but you see where I'm going with that. Tuck her behind the ears. Oh, that's cute. Let me turn around. Okay, you guys. I was just so happy to wake up and have this short hair today and in this beautiful gray color. Everybody, if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. I appreciate your support so very much, more than you have any idea. Everybody, I hope you have a great day and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye. So now we'll take an inside look of the cat of Adalia here. Let me take her off. Let me turn her inside out. Adalia has this lace front. It's probably about an inch and a half, maybe two inches from temple to temple. 
a soft ear tab with a little metal stay, an extended soft nape, and then she has these Velcro adjusters, and then she's all open wefted. There is permatease in here, you guys. I'd say it's a good moderate amount of permatease. There's a look at the inside of the cap for Adalia. So this is the color 39F38, just outside in my backyard. So let me come up here. This is a gorgeous gray color. Chestnut browns, darker grays, lighter grays. This is the 39F38 John Renault's Adalia. Just in front of my window, natural light. 